It's disgusting that nothing has changed. This is not okay. That's the voice of Michelle Strasnitsky. Her son Ryan was paralyzed from the chest down in the tragic Humboldt Broncos bus crash, which took 16 lives and injured 13 in April of 2018. We should not be fighting for this two and a half years after the bus crash. It's not right. It's just, it's a no brainer. Following the crash, family members of those impacted made emotional pleas for seatbelts to be mandated on all highway buses. But that still hasn't happened. Transport Canada needs to get their butt in gear, and so does our government. Conservative, NDP, Liberals, I don't care. That's not an issue. That's not the problem. The problem is get your heads together, do what's right. Transport Canada requires all new medium and large highway buses have seat belts but passengers do not have to wear them. Chris Joseph is the father of Jackson, who was killed in the crash. He says he'll never stop pushing for safer highways, no matter how long it's been. When I think about the window of opportunity to make change closing, I just think of how lots of incidences where one person had decided to stay with it has made some positive change, even years after. And... I don't think we'll ever give up. In Calgary, Taylor Broad, City News.